Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 27 of my horror game tutorial series. So, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up the animations in code. And we are also going to uh, further enhance the enemy J script. And let's show you what we are going to do. So as you can see, the enemy is going to come and he's going to attack us. And if I walk away, he starts walking. And now he attacks us again. And he starts walking again. Okay, so yeah. Uh, one more thing. As you can hear, I bought a new microphone. It's the Blue Snowball. And uh, I would really appreciate it if you would let me uh, know what you think in the comment section below. Since I have I, no idea how to set up this thing and I'm still playing around with the audio. So yeah, um, I will see you after the intro then. Okay, so now we're inside of the Unity Editor. And let's start by going to our scripts folder and open up the Enemy Chase script. Okay, so inside of here, we first need to add some variables. Okay, so the first variable I'm going to add is a private animator. Animate, oops. Animator. Jesus, what's up today? <laughs> okay, so we have a private animator and I'm going to call it my animator. So this is going to be the reference to the animator component of our enemy. Okay, so the next thing we need is a public boolean um, and then it's called chase target and we're going to set it to true by default. So what this is, it's basically <coughs> a variable that helps us uh, to check if we are actually chasing the target so that we can set certain parameters in our animator. Okay, so the next thing we need is a public float stopping distance and I'm going to make it 2.5f. So what this is, it's basically a variable uh, that will replace the value in, uh, let me go to the Unity Editor and then let's find the Google. Uh, it's right here. So it's basically going to replace the stopping distance right here. You will see why we do this in just a second. And then the next thing is a public load delay between attacks and I'm going to set this to 1.5 so this is obviously the delay between attacks because we don't want the enemy to attack every frame right and then the next thing we need is a private load attack cooldown and I'm going to explain how the cooldown will work in just a second. So now the last thing we need is a private distance. Oops. Of course it's a private float and then it's called distance. Distance from target. And we're got not going to set it, so what this is, it keeps track of the distance between the enemy and the player. So uh, we are going to check if this is less than this, and if it is, then we want to attack the player. Okay, so now in void update, first of all I want to copy this line and then delete it. And then I'm going to instead write chase target, open the close brackets and the semicolon because I want to put all the code inside of the void chase target. I do this so that the update function doesn't look so cluttered so that if you read through the code you can see okay what's going to be done every flame, uh, every frame 
and you see, okay, so the enemy is going to chase the target every frame. And, you, and then you can have a look at what the enemy is actually doing while chasing. So instead of the chase target, uh, in cha instead of the void chase target, we first want to write an if statement. So if distance from target is less or equal to oops, is less or equal to and then from the stopping distance then what we're going to do is we are going to say chasing or chase target is equal to true Oh, um, I did a mistake. Of course, you want this to be uh, greater than, and then else. So else chasing target is false. So chase target is equal to false because we're inside of the stopping distance. So we don't want to chase the enemy anymore, uh, the player or the enemy of the enemy. <laughs> Okay, and then we want to attack, so I'm going to write attack. And we're going to write this um, method in just a second. And now we're going to write another if. So if chasing target. So if we are chasing the target, what we're going to do, we're going to say my agent that set destination and then target the position and we're also going to say my animator dot set boolean so set bool and then open and close the bracket and then in those speech marks write the name of the boolean you want to set and in this case uh, we call it this chasing double check how you called it because otherwise this won't work and then make a comma and then write in the value you want to uh, set it to so if we are chasing of course we want to set it to true so that it plays the animation and else we're going to grab this line copy it and paste it and in this case, we want to set it to false. Okay, so now we still need to write the void attack. So why is it complaining here? Hmm. Oh, I forgot the R. So it's target, target here. Okay. And now you write void attack and inside of this void attack we are going to check if time dot time is greater than tech cooldown and if it is we write debug dot log attack so <clears throat> what this means is um, we have a debug that shows us that this code is working because right now I don't want to implement the attacking. I'm going to implement the attacking once uh, we set up a player health system. But uh, right now we don't have one so we can't write any co uh, code for it. And then the next thing we do is we grab our my animator and then we set the trigger and then open and close brackets, speech marks and the name of the trigger. So in this case it's attack and then semicolon and then we need to say attack cooldown is equal to time dot time plus delay between attacks. Ok 
okay and now we still need to calculate the distance from target um, it's actually quite easy because there's already kind of like a function that does this so we're going to say distance from target is equal to vector3 because um, the, dis uh, the transforms are vectors so vector3 dot distance open close bracket okay and then we want the distance from target dot position to transform so the enemies transform dot position and then some color and now we finally need to apply some fix in the void start and it's my animator is equal to get component animator not animation animator and then open close brackets and semicolon and my agent dot stopping distance is equal to stop distance and attack cooldown is equal to time dot time so um I still wanted to explain why this works so we're going to set this to the time the game is running and then down here we check if the time that the game is running is greater than the attack cooldown and then we're going to grab the current time that the game is running and just add on the delay between the attacks so 12 seconds uh, not 12 seconds 1.5 seconds later we will be able to attack again Okay, so now the script should work. So let's go back into the Unity editor, save and play. So you can see he's walking and now he stops. So why doesn't he attack? So let's have a look. So um, this is working. Now let's go back in here. Never look, so this is called is chasing, so this is working. But why isn't he aha? So you see I misspelled the word attack. So it didn't recognize it. So really make sure that those words are written right. So you could even do something like this and double check like this. So now it's written properly. So now go back and let's hit the play button. And now he stops and attacks us. And then he waits 1.5 seconds and attacks again. And now if I walk away, he walks and attacks us. And he also idles between the attacks. So this is working. And everything is set up. So thanks for watching. As always, if you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will answer them as soon as I can. And uh, as always, don't forget to smile. And until next time, bye guys.